everyone today i'm going to show you how to make these super super pretty knotted velvet bows and we are actually going to use a template to get our knot, knot today um because like i said some people struggled with the hand tie just in the hand so i thought i'd show you a different way to do it so today i've got my five inch template and the most important bit is to have like a little bit of a gap with this you can use the plastic versions as well but when it comes to this particular knot tie i would definitely suggest plastic or wooden the um if you've made the hand plate made uh, cardboard ones it's really not going to work for this kind of knot because you do have to do it quite tight so like i said sorry if you've got the cardboard ones but like i said um i will speak to siobhan and find out when she's going to relaunch the wooden ones in the uk for you and there's a link below with the ones for the um plastic ones from the us so there we go so we've got the template and all we do first is we take this and make sure it's velvet side up just put a little bit over that side i'm just going to clip that there just hold it in place and then we're going to go round and like i said make sure it's a little bit over but not too much so it's straight this side and then we bring it over and we're using two inch ribbon and we're using 55 centimeters because we need it longer because normally we do it to about here for a, like a chair type bow but we need a bit longer because this is the bit that we're wrapping the center with so at this point we need to make sure it's really tight around the, the template which is why we need the wooden ones what we do is from here we gather this top one together like this and we bring it between there make sure it's still all gathered together here straight over and then pop that through like that gap there you want this like i said quite scrunched up because like i said this is going to be the center this is the front of the bow this bit here is all going to be the back of the bow so pull it really nice and tight to get that nice scrunch look and then what i want to do is this loop here where you can see my finger we want to bring this underneath so curve it so under okay so you've got this and then we're going to take this bit through here over this direction Can you see and again you want to get that all nice and tight on your template and you want that over here Can you see how tight that that knot is and as you can see on my on my template i've celebrate celebrate these sides it just makes these kind of things easier to slip off even when they're nice and tight on the template so as you can see this is what you've got at the moment so this one's the wrong way around and you can open up your scrunch if you want or if or not now the first thing we do with this is we're just gonna twist that round just twist it like that so both the fronts of your bow are the right way up okay the other thing i do is obviously one side is currently longer than the other so bring them up together like this and obviously you'll need scissors at this point cut them so that they're both the same length and then you can shape them i like to do like a curve just do a gentle curve and the same on this side And we heat seal as normal because it's still ribbon after all we don't want any frays in the clear blue bit of the flame and like i said you can keep manipulating until you're happy with how the velvet sits Okay. 
Now the thing with this, obviously you can see here your scrunch is sort of here. So you can sort of open that up and you can make it as wide as you want or as scrunched as you want. So if you want it more scrunched, scrunch it like this. If you want it wider, you can sort of pull it apart a little bit so it's entirely up to you. And again, if your knot's not quite where it's meant to be, you can move it about until you've got your loops balanced as well. So to put your clip in, this does take a bit of practice. So I've got a slightly longer than average clip. So I've got a 60 millimeter clip here, which is six centimeters. And what you want to do is you get it under this side here. And you sort of work it under, you can see where we did the loop over. You sort of wedge it in that bit. There we go. So that's nice in, nicely in. Like I said, don't be afraid once you've got your tails where you want them and your clip. So if they're where you want them, what I do to get my clip nice and everything else, twist it where you want. Bring this down away from your clip and you can put a bit of glue here and this will also stop your knot from coming open permanently. Again, take all your velvet away from there and glue your clip. And the other thing you can do is once you've got your tails where you want them angled the right way, you can also lift these up and put a touch of glue here. Twist it exactly where you want it. And again, this side. Make sure it sits exactly where you want. Touch of glue there. And there we go we've got our nice get my glue stringers off we have got our lovely template tied like I said if you want to do longer you can do sort of 60 centimeters to start with and do like more of a turnover so on your tail instead of doing a little bit over you could do a couple of centimeters over and you get slightly longer just you can see that And that's another one that's slightly longer. And like I said, you just slip your clip through, adjust it till it's where you want it, glue it down, glue these bits down if you want to, or like I said, manipulate them until they hang exactly how you want it. Just take a couple of minutes just to get them to twist where you want. Same as when we first twist them around, but it is worth it in the end, because like I said, they are so cute. You could add a little charm on them if you wanted to. There you go. You can make them as scrunched or as wide as you like. Like I said, you can just manipulate that more luck. And like I said, you can just play around and have some fun. Um, if you want to do smaller ones, like I said, you can do the 1.5 inch ribbon on a four inch template. And again, do about 45 to 50 centimeters, play around with your tail length and things like that. And you can work it. But like I said, it will work on all methods. You could do like one inch uh, velvet on like a three inch uh, template. And again, I would do like 40 centimeters. Always do a little bit longer because obviously you can cut ribbon down. You can't add more back on. So like I said, um, or keep it on the roll until you've worked out where you want to cut it but like I said you always need a good percentage more across the template so if I show you so I've got some more of the purple so if you want longer tails start further across your template when you turn it over when you clip but once you've got it to this point so you've got it across back this wouldn't be long enough. You'd need at least another bit that comes at least 10 to 15 centimetres longer than the size of the template so that you've got enough to scrunch your middle and get your loops and turn it under your knotted bit. Like, so if you don't leave yourself enough length, 
this bit like I said you won't have enough to, to do the middle so like I said do think of that when you use the other template sizes but you'll be able to work it out yourself just by playing around so like I said hopefully that helps thank you all for watching the links to my Facebook page and group are in all in the description center along uh, description along with all the measurements and I'll speak to you all soon bye